Alright, what is going on everyone? It's Kier today. Before the footage of the training from this week starts, I'm just going to give a little update what's going on. So as of this video, the footage, we're about four, three and a half weeks out now from the meet. It's uh, I'm competing on February 5th, the Sunday, instead of Saturday, just because I'm competing at 90kg again. So yeah, we're about four weeks out now, and I have the footage from the five week out footage uh, stored and ready. I don't think I'm going to upload it just because... It was good, but like I wasn't very satisfied with the training anyway, and then with the way my deadlift is right now, I didn't even know what I was going to pull, sumo or conventional. So I'm pulling sumo for this meet, just because my back is fully healed, but it's still very sensitive right now to where I don't even think a conventional pull over 530 I can even handle. And as you guys know, my total is dependent on my deadlift, just because I am a deadlift specialist. Because my deadlift takes about almost 50% of my total, actually. It's like 45%, I think, actually. So I need to squeeze out anything I can. So my sumo tech feels really good right now, so we're going to pull it. I haven't pulled more than 250 kg sumo, so we're going to see what we can hit. But honestly, at this point, I say it in the video. I'm just going to take what's there at this meet. I'm just going to use it just as another meet experience. Probably compete somewhere uh, later down the line this year and qualify for collegiate nationals, nationals, depending on if how well my strength progresses. So yeah, that is it where I'm at right now. I'm probably not going to upload the five weeks out footage. Last week, it was still my the end of my doubles block. So I hit 177 half kilos or 392 pounds for two on squat. First time I went above 375 pounds on squat in two and a half months. So that's a good sign right there. Bench, I hit 110 kg or 243 pounds. That moved very well, but my back cramped on it, so I kind of double paused it. So it's the best it felt in my hands, so that was a good sign. Deads on Wednesday, I pulled uh, 485 conventional again for a single, but then just after that, I was just really thinking about it. Me and Lucas had a really long conversation, uh, dialing back in with each other, like getting back on the same page with each other about sumo and conventional. And honestly, I have really good sumo leverages, obviously. But I just have a really strong conventional. But like I said, with about my back, we're just going to pull sumo this meet just to be safe, honestly, just for the longevity of me. I don't want to just hurt my back on this meet that I'm not going to like be placing high. Like I said, I'm just going to use this as more experience for competing. So the goal, the top end is to total 630 kg. I'm probably going to weigh about 87 and a half kilos or uh, 192, 193 pounds around there. Maybe a little bit higher at 88, but that's the goal is to total 630 so I can qualify for collegiate nationals next year just because, like I said, I want to qualify for CNATs and then qualify for NATs eventually and within the next year or two. But if uh, that isn't possible in the cards, just with the way prep goes and how my back is, the the low end is just to at least total 600 kg or just get 400 knots so that is the the mindset going into the rest of the prep four weeks out so yeah here's the footage four, four weeks out four weeks out like how do we feel about this prep we'll take what's there. yeah exactly fuck <laughs> i don't care about pr in this prep fuck this prep it's fucking ass this prep sucks fuck you so you're both 90 again. yeah oh fuck so round two yeah holy shit i didn't even realize that yeah oh damn Except I'm like you where I have the luxury of eating whatever the fuck I want going into the meat. I don't know about this guy because he either has to water cut or he's just going to drop weight. I don't know. All right, we are back. It is Monday. It is four weeks out. This prep sucks. Both me and Lex both got hurt at different times of this prep. And the vibes just suck because winter sucks. Summer's better. Anyway, so we'll just we're just taking what's there this fucking prep. I don't fucking know if I can hit like 419 today as well. That'd be fucking cool. But we're just going to take what's there and then let's see. And I'm going to pull sumo because my back sucks now. So, yeah.
<laughs> Hello. Is this thing on? No. <laughs> Most favorite right here. <laughs> Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I'm so fucking mad. Okay, well, anyway, uh, I recorded this whole outro and I didn't press record and I'm fucking mad. So let me see if I can reiterate it bar for bar because Lucas, I don't script my scenes when I talk. It's all from the heart and everything. So yeah, so that is it with this session. So today I had a squat single at seven and a three by four back offs at seven. My leg accessories, it's a very good day. So warming up, I knew I had something nice. So squat, I warmed up with 170 kg as my last warm up. I was gonna go to 182 and a half or 403 pounds as my single today just to keep it safe. But then I felt really good. So I jumped from 170 kg to 190 kg instead or 419 pounds. I moved that, I haven't hit that in about three months. Felt really good. I don't know if it was a true seven, maybe a little bit overshoot, small overshoot, I don't care. It felt really good, my back doesn't hurt, my back doesn't hurt anymore. I don't have any pain throughout the day when I wake up or before I'm going to sleep or just in everyday activities. Felt really good. So then I had a three by four, I did 160 kg or 353 pounds as my first set, then 150 kg or 331 pounds as my second and third. Those moved really well, that feels really good, stance width feels good. Come to find out my right leg is longer than my left leg this prep. Never knew that, that explains why whenever I do the rogue leg press machine, the right one will always press first. Never knew why, I thought the machine was just Weird, but no, it just turns out my body's weird and my right leg is longer, so I don't know. So then I did the abductor or the, the abductor focus leg press, and then I did my dumbbell RDLs, I did 90 pounds and then 100 pound dumbbells for my second and third. Those felt really good because before 100s used to give me a little bit of trouble when I would do them. Now they feel like cake weights, probably because that new hip thrust machine we have at Legion, the Arsenal Strength Hip Thrust Machine. That one's a really good machine. It's a good substitute for not having the 45 degree back extension that I normally did for deads at BAB. So yeah, we're working on getting that machine right now, which is good because it's a relatively cheap machine for a gym and it's just a reliable thing to have, and it's a good thing to strengthen your glutes and hammies, or your erectors, depending on who you are for deads, especially for sumo, like I said, I'm pulling sumo again, and then I just did everyone's favorite exercise, Bulgarian split squats, as my last thing, and that felt really good. Good quad pump is always good, ass pump and all that shit, so yeah, that was really nice. Tomorrow we got bench, no matter how much I hate bench, I'm gonna make it a good bench day. On Wednesday, we have primary deads, I'm pulling sumo, so that's what we're pulling this meet, so yeah, I'll see how it goes, so I'll see you guys in the right. next one. I didn't film an individual um, intro to this session just because I was in a rush with this session, I had some stuff to do, so I had to be really fast with this session. So this session, we had a single at seven and then a three by five out of seven and then along with all the chest accessories so this is what i hit today Alright, just gonna do the recap of bench during the accessories. So yeah, I'm very happy with this session. 
Single felt very nice. Pause felt very nice. I didn't do commands on this day just because, I don't know, I felt really nice that day. So 231 pounds moved very well. And then my back offs for 90 kg for all four of the sets felt really nice. So that's a good sign. Keeping a bench pocket just to see how things move. So yeah, that is it with this. And I'll see you guys in the next session. All right, we're back. It's Wednesday. I don't think I filmed a little recap or start before my bench tomorrow or yesterday because I was in a rush. But yeah, so today we got uh, comp single. Oh shit! Hey. Oh my god, are you vlogging? Yeah, bro. Oh my god. Bro, this guy's like hella jacked and shit. Hi, daddy. <laughs> okay, Mike. <laughs> mm, I love this guy so much. He's so fucking jacked and strong. I like that. <laughs> All right, so we got a single at seven. Is it seven or seven eight? A single at seven, seven eight, whatever it is, and then a four by four at the same thing. Tempo bench and the back accessories. So we'll see what we hit today. Let's go.
<laughs> Alright, we're done with today's session. So for deads, we had a single at 7 and then a 4x4 four four at a 7. So I did, I pulled 230 for 507 pounds for my single. Felt right, I felt alright. Like I said, I haven't pulled over 500 in two and a half months now. So that felt really nice. So you still get used to steel again. I think I might switch to a dynamic hinge just because like the static hinge is kind of cool Like I can wedge myself in a better position, but I think with the dynamic I can get more momentum like I do with my conventional So yeah, so then my back offs I did 441 419 and then 375 375 for my my sets That's it just because my back was getting a little tight oh! All right. oh. <laughs> I'm filming Kazo! This guy just came off the island <laughs> Yeah, this felt cool and all. So, like I said, we're just getting back into swinging things. Really low training total so far to start off the thing. Like I said, I'm just coming off the back injury. We'll see how I can pull. If I perform well at third street, cool. But not at this point, I'm just kind of I got no expectations for the beat now. So, we'll see how it goes. So, I'll see you guys in the next one.